Ladies and gentlemen, so one of the most frequently asked questions I get is, can you be successful and still have a life? Well, let's find out. So the discussion today is about being successful and having a life. Now, there's so much we can explore when it comes to the subject. I believe it's misunderstood and I believe there's still a lot to learn for people. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to break it down into two sections and make this as simple as possible for everybody. Number one, basically, we have to determine of the statement, have a life, what does that mean, right? To a lot of people, um, and this is kind of split up into two ways. Number one, you have an individual like myself, and I know many people like this too, what we do in our quote work is a part of us in our lives and we enjoy it. So as I'm making videos, as I'm working with my team in real estate and doing things, I'm not, feeling like, oh, I wanna get away. I can't wait to get home and just watch Netflix. So that's one side of it, right? The other side is for the people who are doing something that they don't, we can say, actually enjoy, okay? Can they still have time to do the things that they wanna do? And it really is simple once we break it down. So the first piece of advice I'm gonna give you guys is you need to define what having a life means for you. Uh, for some people, it's financial freedom. For some people, it's traveling the world all the time. For some people, it's uh, doing charity work. Um, it, it really depends, right? Some people just enjoy sports. Some people just enjoy being outdoors. What does that mean for you to have a life? So let's say for you, it's something that's outside of your career and you don't necessarily, quote, enjoy your work. However, right? You do have something else that you want to do outside of it. So your work isn't directly related with your success. Now, I'm always uh, somebody who's going to preach that if possible, and for most people, I think it is if they kind of piece everything together and they're willing to go through some tough periods, it is possible to directly tie what you really do enjoy with your work or at the very least be able to connect the dots so that the work that you're doing ultimately leads you to living the life that you want and then having that sort of fulfillment. Fulfillment for a lot of people is difficult to achieve because fulfillment in their mind is at the end of the tunnel, at the end of life, when they retire and then they finally have that time to themselves. Whereas for me, I find fulfillment in each and every step that I'm taking because each and every day I'm building more so the life that I've always envisioned and that I've had in my mind. Quick little, little update. Many of you have been asking about the cat. What's up, Pharaoh? You know, one thing people have to accept, especially in the beginning stages when you're starting a business or, or creating something new is you are going to have to put a lot of time. And this is why, as I previously, previously stated in the other clip, you have to be able to kind of bridge the gap and connect the dots between your actual fulfillment and what you're doing and finding it in that process, right? So for me, the fact that I wanted to start my own business and I started in real estate and now I'm doing stuff online is something that I saw a long time ago and the fact that I'm doing it, like actually doing it as I'm doing right now, every single day, every single moment, that makes me smile and it fulfills me because I'm essentially the creator of my circumstances and of my life and that's something to be proud of and enjoy. Now, am I exactly where I want to be? No. However, for me, this is life. This is life. Doing what I want on my terms, having success, and going after it, man, that's life. It's not something special. It's not, I need to wait till later. It's now, this moment. And when people start adopting that mindset a little bit better, it's gonna help them. So as we move on, if you're somebody who's doing something currently that you don't enjoy, and maybe you don't have a way out, I'm gonna teach you something and give you some sort of perspective that's gonna help you in having a life. Oh, Pharaoh, you're funny. So for those of you who are working maybe a nine to five or something that you don't truly enjoy, this is what you need to kind of figure out. Number one is accept the circumstance for now because I'm assuming if you're falling under that category, you're in a position where either you are saving up at this job to be able to create a new opportunity, it's a temporary thing, or it allows you to live a certain lifestyle maybe that you want because doing something else maybe is a little bit too risky for you uh, doing something else doesn't fit what you want to do. So the first tip I can give you is whatever it is that you're doing, even if it's not the thing that you want to do, give it your all. 
right? I don't care if you're a teacher and you don't wanna be a teacher. I don't care if you're a fucking janitor. I don't care if you're a manager at a store, right? Do that job proudly because that in itself is gonna give you more fulfillment as an individual. You're in the circumstance, you're in that position, squeeze every drop of juice out of it and learn to enjoy it. I'm sure, even if you hate it, there's something you can enjoy from it. Maybe you're leading people, maybe you're meeting new people every day, Maybe it's an opportunity for you to learn a certain uh, skill set or you're gathering some sort of experience you wouldn't otherwise get. Find something you can enjoy in it, okay? Because you're going to have to be working there anyway. Now, you either have the choice of making it a miserable experience or you can put yourself in a position where now you allow yourself to have a new perspective and say, hey, you know what? It is what it is. I'm going to be here anyway. Why not try to find something good from it? One reminder I want to give that's particularly special and very relevant to this video is, again, when I said have a life, you need to be very careful that you're not attempting to create a reality or your life by the definition of everybody else. Because to everybody else, having a life, to most people, not everybody, means not doing anything, sitting on the couch, going out to clubs all the fucking time, okay, or bars, taking the pictures on Instagram and all that bullshit, getting fucked up, spending money, right? Saving up for that one weekend that you blow all the money you made all year going to Vegas. Now again, these are just some examples, okay? I'm not saying everybody's like this. However, generally, this is what it's like, especially for younger people, right? If you're 35 and under, that's kind of like the cool thing or having a life. So if you're like me and you're building your life and you're enjoying it, there's always people coming from the outside saying, well, you know, like you don't have a life and all you do is this. Look, your life is your life. You have your definition. If you're living by your definition and what you're doing, then that's all that matters. Forget what other people tell you. We don't have to fall into these traps of, well, I have to do it this way or, well, so-and-so is thinking about this because the root of that is putting your attention on other people's opinions and then living your life based on other people's expectations, which is the quickest trip and road to a life of misery, right? And unfulfillment, okay? So if you're somebody like me, for example, where I've said it many times, real estate isn't necessarily my passion. I'm more passionate about cars, right? Basketball was my number one passion, having played high school, professionally, college, and all that stuff. And I don't think anything in this lifetime, at least in this body that I'm living, will ever amount to basketball for me in the type of fulfillment, but that's okay, that's in the past. Something I enjoy, like cars, for example, I made the connection and said, well, with real estate, not only can I create and, and carve my own niche, but at the same time, I can earn a lot of money and I can create a lifestyle for myself through this vehicle of real estate that will allow me to enjoy my passions, such as cars. I'll be making enough money to buy the cars that I want. I'm going to be able to create a lifestyle in which I have the time to go out and drive them and do what I want. So what I did was by design... I took something, connected the dots like I told you, and now I've been able to slowly, systematically create what I want. So I'm gonna wrap up this video very simply because a lot of people have this question about having a life and time and do you have to work all day? And this is basically what it boils down to. So it basically boils down to this, ladies and gentlemen, anything worth having is gonna take time. It's not easy, it's not simple. You're gonna go through hell, right? You're gonna have blood, sweat, and tears and you're gonna have to persevere, right? So. That's what I want everybody to get from this video is, it is gonna take time, right? Now, having a life, again, that's your description. And the way I see it is, if I'm working more than nine to five compared to everybody else, that's okay. That's okay. Because if having a life means doing what everybody else is doing, are we really having a life? Now, you can answer that yourself. Now, for me, no. Because if I do what everybody else does, I'm going to get what everybody else gets. Doesn't add up, does it? Yet, the people who get what everybody else gets want to give us these definitions and put this social pressure on us to live the way they live. I don't live for the weekend. Okay? That's a completely off and incorrect mindset. So if living for the weekend, like most people do, that we see caught in the trap, if that's having a life, then I don't want a life. You know what? I want my life, not a life. And that's a definition that you need to really, really get personal with. So in, in parting in this video, have you taken a moment to write down, and this is your takeaway exercise for those of you who are still on the video, 
Have you taken a moment to write down what it is that your life would look like and what you would like it to look like? Where are you at now? Where do you want to take it to? And what steps are you going to take to get there? Okay, because the short answer is yes, you can build a life that you want, be successful and still have a life and do whatever the hell that you want. But in the process, it's not going to be all pretty. It's going to take time. It's going to take sacrifice. However, I was crystal clear with my vision and what I wanted to do. I didn't just wake up one day and say, well, you know what? I'm going to work hard and I'm going to be successful. No, I created a plan of action. What am I going to do? How many hours am I going to work? What are going to be my activities? And I, I applied all the basic principles I've been teaching all of you on my channel for years. But see, this video is more about mindset and perspective and your way of viewing things than anything else because the techniques are always there for you to apply. However, the correct perspective, the correct awareness is what's going to allow you the freedom to exercise your right to actually do these things versus being caught up in the thought process that everyone else is caught up in, okay? Because this is about you and this is your life. You're the ultimate authority. You're the one who calls the shots. And guess what? If you get it or you don't, it's on you. If you succeed, I'm happy for you. If you don't and you don't even attempt to do it, it's on you too. And I will be disappointed, but most importantly, you should be disappointed in yourself because you're not doing what it is that you have to do to get where it is that you want to go. So what would your life look like? How would you like it to be? What's going to be in it? Who's going to be in it? See, these are questions you need to be able to answer clearly, concisely. And I recommend you write them on paper because there's nothing more powerful than that. And if you can do that, my friends, then guess what? You will have the key to unlock what it is that you want to unlock and you can follow in my footsteps. Okay? So with that said, ladies and gentlemen, I'll end it here. Two quick announcements. Uh, I am going to be in Australia at the end of the month, so make sure you sign up for the Million Dollar Agent Summit. You can go to my... Instagram and Facebook for more information to sign up. Uh, Supreme Being, my podcast is every Monday and Wednesday at 7 p.m. Pacific. I have links on my social media that you can follow in the description if you want to tune in live. It's also recorded and posted on every major podcast platform, uh, such as Podomatic, Google Play, iTunes, Stitcher, and all those. And lastly, Modern Success. You've heard about it. Shout out to all the newest members. It's my personal coaching and mentorship program for the world. I highly, highly, highly recommend and suggest you get on it. It's growing at a very, very rapid pace. And it's all the answers that you need in order for you to execute ideas like this and all the other ones that you know you have to do, but for whatever reason, you're not doing them. Okay, so peace out. Make sure you leave a like on the video to support the channel. Leave a comment below. Let me know what your life is going to look like. And as always, peace out. Team DC, see you on.